Hello and welcome to IGCSC Mathematics 0580 Extended Course Slipper Topic E1 Number Module E1.8 which is about decimals and fractions and this is part 3 in which we are going to solve exercise 2 of chapter number 1 we are using complete mathematics for Cambridge IGCSE extended syllabus written by David Rayner. In question number one, it says a math teacher bought 40 calculators at $8.2 each and a number of other calculators costing $2.95 each. In all, she spent $3.87. How many of the cheaper calculator did she buy? So, for the high price calculator, uh, she spent so she spent like uh, 40 into 8.2 because one calculator costing 8.2 so 40 costing 14 to 8.2 which is 328 right this is one amount for the cheaper calculator let's suppose she bought x number of cheaper calculator so the total amount on cheaper calculator will be because one calculator of cheaper calculator cost 2.95 so the total amount for x cheaper calculator will be 2.995 x because we don't know the amount so we just support this is the amount x for the cheaper calculator and the total she spent 387 so it means that 328 plus 2.95 x equals to 387 right let's take 328 on the other side so it will be 2. 95 x equals to 387 minus 328 would be 59 and uh, let's divide 59 with the 2.95 so 59 divided by 2.95 so x will be equals to 20 it means that she bought 20 cheaper calculators in question number two it says at a temperature of 20 degrees celsius the common amoeba reproduces by splitting in half every 24 hours if we start with the single amoeba how many will there be after 8 days and in b part 16 days it means that after every 24 hours this amoeba is splitting itself it means let's suppose we're starting with the one amoeba after 24 hours it will be two right and then after 24 hours because these two amoeba will split themselves so after another 24 hours they will be four then they will be 8 and they will be 16 and so on right and the gap between them is 24 hours right the gap between two interval is 24 hours right like that 24 hours okay now we just she's asking eight after eight days how many amoeba will be there one way of doing it just keep on doing it this is like uh, this is the one day two day third day four day and so on so for the eighth day what is that the best way is that uh, we, we, we let's say summarize this thing as 2 raised to power x where x define the number of days because 24 hour is equals to 1 day so 2 raised to power x is actually defining this series for example if x is equal to 0 it means that no days is passed so 2 raised to power 0 is 1 when x is 1 it means that 24 hour gone so 2 raised to power 1 is 2 then 2 raised to power 2 is 4 2 raised to power 3 is 8 and so on so this is the representation of the amoeba reproduction and we he's asking after 8 days so it means that for a part it is 2 raised to power 8 and 2 raised to power 8 is 256 amoeba and for the b part it is 16, 16 days so it will be 2 raised to power 16 that is 6 5 5 3 6 amoeba after 16 day in question number 9 it says put three different numbers in the circle so that when you add the numbers at the end of each line you always get a square number it means that you have to place three different numbers here here and here in these circles so that when you add these two numbers this and this or this and this or this and this that should be a square number and keep in mind square numbers are 1 because 1 square is 1 4 is the square number 2, 2 raised to power 2 is 4, 9 is the square number 3 into 3 is 9 or 3 raised to power 2 is 9, 16 is the square number 4 into 4 is 16. So these are the square number. It means that when you add these numbers in the corner in one line, that should be the square number. If you make some combination, you come to know that this number is 0, this number 9, 
and this number is 16. u plus 9 is 9 which is a square number 9 plus 16 is 25 which is a square number and 16 plus 0 is 16 which is another square number this is one of the possibility you may come across a different combination as well but as long as they are making the square the answer is right in question number 10 it says put the four different number in the circles so that when you add the numbers at the end of each line you always get a square number we are given a square and we have four circles is asking if you add a number add the numbers at the end of each line mean across this across this and across this like this plus this this plus this this plus this or this plus this it should be a square number to be honest it's quite a tough question and then if at this age maybe like 13 to 16 or 17 years old if you are and you can solve this sum mark my word you have a you have it's an intuition it's, it's a sign of a great mathematics mathematician, mathematician mathematician or even a great physicist anyway uh, to me it's, it's a bit uh, tough questions but still it will it can be solved using some complex uh, uh, solution as uh, even um, uh, formulas but I can give you the answer uh, one of the possibility could be uh, 12 88 24 and 201 now you can add all these two numbers 12 and 24 12 and 88 88 plus 201 24 and 201 they all square number and one more solution what I find out could be 45 4 90 uh, in fact it is 99 it's not 49 it's 99 and 2205 so this is one of the other solution it may have more solution than that but these are my two findings um, how did I find it it's a bit tough at this stage I would say uh, for you to know but it's all like uh, adding of the number for example let's give me a clue if it is a square number are 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 81 and 100 and so on so they all square numbers so you have to make the combination of these numbers so it is uh, at this stage I would say it's hit and trial in question number 11 it says a group of friends share a bill of dollar 13.69 equally between them how many were in the group it, it means that what is saying that we are looking for some number that can divide 13.6 number and that some number it can be any of the number so it means that this is a decimal number and it means that we are looking something 1369 and the factors of 1369 and it happens to be 37 into 37 it means that 13.69 divided by 37 makes 0 0.37 and that's what we're looking for it means 37 has divided fully 13.69 it means that each will share 0 0.37 and there are 37 students so this is the end of this part. In the next part, we'll be solving exercise 3 of chapter number 1. So, see you there.